This is Mark heading up to the TMB Castle. It's getting a little lighter out as I leave. Uh, well, that's a good sign. It's WrestleMania weekend. Uh, so I just got one question for you. What you gonna do, brother, when the Nostalgia Brothers run wild on... Oh, the light went out. You... Brother. Give me a fat beat. We're the Nostalgia Brothers. The Nostalgia Brothers. I just want to know if I can get you to move it. <laughs> Hey. Hooking up speakers. Lots of speakers. I like the yellow one, it stands out. That is cool. How'd you get them signed? Ow. Oh, that could be useful. Here, have a tech. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Darn it. Here, have a tech. Oh. Going into WrestleMania, do you want to talk about your... Signatures? Sure. Why sure. not? Let's go this Let's way. Go. Take you on a little journey here. You can say how you got them and everything. And the only thing in the world that's not for sale is the Jimmy Hart because who could ever sell a Jimmy Hart? I don't have whatever right. you want to call it. <laughs> ah. When did you meet him? He came to a shop last year, two years ago, last year. So that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, time before that, I had an old shop, and I had Brutus the Barber Beefcake come in. And so he'll be uh, in the Hall of Fame this year. Hall of Famer Brutus. Yeah. What did he ever do? Cut cut people's hair. <laughs> Good old. Uh, uh, barbershop. Someone's got to go through the barbershop the class yeah. every now and again. Then uh, before that, same shop, I had uh, Typhoon over, Mr. Fred Ottman here. Whoa. Typhoon slash Tugboat slash The Disciple slash Shockmaster slash The Zodiac. I thought you said The Disciple was the other guy. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Got a ring worn hat from Tugboat, 1990. That's freaking cool. I like how he even made a little WWF logo. He did, he did. <laughs> Does it smell like his sweat? No. Oh, that's good Tugboat right there. Yeah. So, it's joking about the Disciple and Zodiac. Well, that one's still on Beefcake. Beefcake! <laughs> Okay. So he was, he was only Tumbo and Typhoon and the Shockmaster. Still a lot of pretty cool stuff. Yeah. It's too bad that's that's just the cover, huh? Or a print of the program. Yeah, that'd be cool. All... That'd be cool if it was the whole program. The, the signatures are real. They're just they're, yeah. they're just prints of the the pictures though, with the real signature on top of it. They're on. Um, our eBay page, and you can see a picture of him signing it. Ah, oh, TNB eBay. Tinyurl.com slash TNB eBay. That doesn't look like Tugboat. No, I know. Wow, that doesn't even look like Brutus. I know. Hey, you look cool there. Huh. Oh, look at those. Yeah. The big, yellow one might be scissors. my favorite. Baby scissors. What's he gonna do? What are those crazy eyes? Yeah. Jesus. That one's my favorite. I like that one. That's some flair right there. What's something fun about the black and white? What other wrestling stuff we have? 
Um, over here. WWE 2K16. Oh. Over here. Ah, oh, these fucking guys. I have Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. Who signed those? No one. Oh. These are unsigned. They're still pretty the cool. The unsigned wall. The unsigned wall. <laughs> Ooh, keychains. Key Electronic chain. talking. Um, let's see. Ready? Holy shoot, that just happened. Do it again. Right, right. It's sort of funny he screams it, but what does the other guy do? I don't think he does it. We need new batteries. We do need new batteries. I think I had one more. Where did the other one go? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's cool it comes so with come back to this one. It's cool it comes with a little ring. Yeah. A little WCW ring. That's pretty freaking cool. Maybe the giant just never really talked. Maybe that's the gimmick. Ugh. Forgot to show you the, the Pop Funkos here. Got Razor Ramon, the bad guy. Ric Flair, Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. Not everyone in America knows who he is yet, no. but maybe AEW will be really awesome. Yes, yes it will. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, here it is. Where? Oh, yes. Ooh, Goldberg. You. Did he say who's next? Ready? Oh, hold on. No. Press it. No. Oh. Press it again. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I will hang on up. Hang it up. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Curry. For our WrestleMania match, we have our ladder. Yes. For our ladder match. And then we have the table to go through. Probably should go through one of the wood tables. It might be easier. Cool. Welcome to WrestleMania weekend at wow. the Nostalgia Brothers. We're going to do this whole thing as 80s wrestlers. I'm Mark. The Crusher. And with me is my tag team partner, Pat the Quiet. That's all I got. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I had a part two, an update to... Um, the kismet thing. I just wanted to bring it back up because I, I was talking to Dave when we were playing. He's like, the funnest part, we had to look up a, a question. Oh, and I wanted to keep you updated like I said I was going to last week on the uh, uh, kismet newsletter. I, I, forgot, I forgot about it, so I didn't mail it in yet. But I will, except I want to make a photocopy of this because I don't want to lose the, the real original one because it's just freaking cool. But in the, I got to know I'm going to find it real quick. Uh, I can't find it. That's really funny. What the fuck? Was there instructions or was it just this fucking thing? Oh. The funniest thing you've ever I've ever seen in any any uh thing ever. So we're playing. I don't remember what it was, but we had two so the one of the scoring is for um two pairs of the same color. So we didn't know if it was like two red fours and then it had to be two red threes or if it could have been like two red fours and then it had to be like this green threes if that would have worked so that's a kind of, that seems like a normal question right yeah two pairs same color we wanted clarification on how to score that in the akismet official rules it says definition of categories two pairs same color <laughs> Self-explanatory. <laughs> what kind of fucking rules? When you're looking it up, it says self-explanatory. Un freaking. It's on one of those sides. Believable. Which is funny because then we go down a little bit. And uh so there's another scoring thing that says full house same color. 
But it doesn't as mean there. It's a four house, all same color, three of a kind, and a pair, all dice being the same color. So we're assuming in caps. In caps. The yellow. Which right. means obviously it's not self-explanatory. If a little bit lower, you had to capitalize all the dice the same color. Self-explanatory, you freaking <laughs> dicks. All right. Well, it's WrestleMania weekend, and uh, we're going to be set up, or we're going to be having an event. We have the screen up. Uh, it's in a pretty pretty good spot. Um, looks really good. We have uh, brought in some surround house sound, surround, surround hound, surround sound speakers. <laughs> Um, so, you know, we should be able to cover all, all corners of the room. The subwoofer sounds really nice. Uh, went downstairs. You can still hear it two, two floors, uh, <laughs> up if so. So that's good. Whatever. You know, it's my party and I'll be loud if I want to. So it's WrestleMania. I had, well, you know what? I finally get to tell my story about wrestlers that I've met. I worked, I, I had a, uh, have a friend, Jeremy, and, uh, he, his mom did like a security thing or something like that through uh, the arena. And I had the opportunity once to work with him like backstage at a WWE event. And this was in the mid 2000s, so I wasn't even really following it anymore. But the highlight of my life was, I remember two things. One, I'm just walking down the hallway and Stephanie and Triple H just come walking by and I just stop and just, hi. <laughs> to which she says hi like a normal person and probably looks at security and says what the fuck is that guy doing so and the next greatest thing i've ever done with the with a wrestler huh, is this is the highlight of my life is that i had the luxury of taking a leak next to the hall of famer edge come on i was in the bathroom doing what i do and all of a sudden Edge comes walking by, or, you know, saddles up next to me, and it's, hi. Same thing. Probably not appropriate. Nothing I could do about not. it. Because it's weird. It's like, especially with, like, the, the original, the first one was with Stephanie was, like, more like, I, I know you because we grew up together. I've known <laughs> you for years. You don't know me, but I know you, as creepy as that sounds. So it's like, hey, old friend. But then when Edge comes, no. You know, I'm a normal, average, six foot tall dude, and that's the story I'm sticking with. And you know, when the prof on TV, you know, they they're all big, burly, buff, sexy dudes. So you know, they all sort of look the same. So I'm sitting here, and all of a sudden, Edge is, is next to me, and I'm like, "Wow, he's really big." To which he's probably thinking, "Who the let this guy in?" And he's really small. Is what I'm assuming he was thinking. Yeah, I picked up, well, tugboat Fred. He was he's about six seven. You picked him up. I picked him. Well, not picked he's him. Like up. I picked him up from the airport. I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> but you really yeah, got to I was, pick I was him like, up. Ooh. yeah, it was cool. I, my own car I drove. I took him to Duff's with some chicken wings. So I had dinner with him. Really? Yeah. What'd you yeah. talk about? Hmm. I have no, no idea. Then after the event, we cleaned up everything. I took him over to uh, Mooney's down the street from the night. So I had another dinner with him. Did you pay? I did. I did pay. Huh. I did pay. Then I dropped him off at his hotel, and then I picked him up the next day and took him to the airport. Did he invite you? That's out? when I picked him up from to go to the airport. That's when he signed my uh, Typhoon. Figure. And you just had it? You were like, hey, do you mind No, this actually, for I went me? the day before I went to uh, Walmart. And for, that was, they had him there. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. And he didn't care? Nope. Just like, hey, man, this seems a little weird. I'm probably supposed to be professional, but will you sign all my stuff? That's the only thing I had. Then he signed pictures? Oh, yeah, the pictures. Those were all his. Oh. Nice. Well, that's still pretty cool. But yeah. I need a segue. I need a different hat. It's getting hot. Mm -hmm. But I had to wear this so he didn't yell at me.
It's a work in progress. There's going to be a white. Oh, it's your green hat. With my, uh, with my owl. There's your green Not hat. Not for loser, for Luigi. <laughs> and there's another green hat. Um, Zelda. So I'm not sure the Triforce or the shield or the heart container. Oh. I don't know. Heart container is pretty cool, but Triforce too. Do you have any yeah. cool stories about the other guys? Maybe we should do it when I'm here. Do you have any other cool stories about the other guys? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jimmy Hart was just. Uh, Did that you pick him up? No, that was oh. another gig. That wasn't mine. So I had to pay to get an autograph and a photo op. You did? I thought he was one of your people. He was not one of my people. Whose people was he? He was another, another guy's people. Yeah, another guy's people. But it's Jimmy Hart. I had to. So. Did he spit on the megaphone for you at least? He did not. But he let me in the picture. I mean, you can put it in the video. Right here. Is if you bought the mega little thing, he made you hold his real one. Oh. So I held his real one standing oh. next to him. So that would be right here. Did you spit on that? No, no, I kind of licked it though. Nice. Did it taste <laughs> like Jimmy? It did. It did. Right. Who yeah. else did you meet? Any Hall of Famers? I went to the bathroom next to a Hall of Famer. Yeah, you did. You did. Kind of jealous. Um, no, those are the only three I really ever met. Well, what about the Brutus story? Well, Brutus. Yeah. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. But he's not yet, so he's I can't not. tell you. What was exciting yes. about meeting him? Big dude. Another big dude. Um, Looked in shape still? What's that? Does he still look in shape? Uh, can't really tell. Did you ask him to take his shirt off? No, no. Hmm. But he has a walk out a little slow. What's gonna happen? Yeah, he was. He looked like he was hurting though. Uh, did you provide him with his drugs? No. No coke. No. No hookers. No. Hmm. These wrestlers from the '80s, they can't perform without that. True. Very true. Um. So, yeah, that was both great guys. That's pretty cool that you got to do all that stuff with Typhoon Tugboat, other guy. Yeah. That is a lot of neat stuff. It was just you and him eating eating a meal? Yeah. yeah it was just Awkwardly? Him. No, we talked. And... Well, like, what could you say? Like, you, you got to, you're, you're trying not to be a stupid little Mark being like, Oh my God, you're so cool. I remember you when I was a kid. and That's so awesome. And tell me about that one time that that happened. I mean, you can't be doing all that. No, no. We just, well, you can be. The first time I picked him up, we went to um, I just picked him up from the Buffalo airport. <laughs> you're like, how do you like your chicken wings? What did he order, 50 of them? No, no. I, we don't like him hot. He doesn't either. <laughs> so You know how Tugboat eats his uh, yes, chicken wings. Yes. That's amazing. So I forgot Duff's. Scoop right here. It's a little hotter. Oh. Like medium's a little hot. Tugboat. Or mild. Tugboat couldn't handle the hot no. or the medium. I can't either. Oh. Don't sell for him. <laughs> hey, he's he's my buddy. I can say he's my buddy. Oh. So. So. Hmm. I didn't have dinner with anybody. I did. Good times. You never bought me chicken wings. At Duff's. You should go. Let's go. All right. Okay. See ya. <laughs> There's three big, four, I guess, big events this weekend. Friday is, and I doubt this, this video, knowing me, will be up before Friday. It's usually a weekend thing, but maybe I'll work really hard tomorrow with a six pack and plow right through it. Yes. Let's do it. See him again? Deep down inside, see, he caught himself. That first was going to be, yes. Fucking do something, and then and then this side, and then he calls himself. He's like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not too much trouble. You know, I got anything going on with the family and work and all that kind of stuff. You know, that's fine. No, I'll try. <laughs> and then uh, so Friday is NXT. Uh, 
And that's probably really going to be good, NXT TakeOver. I don't really know any of the card. I haven't been following it. I'm sure Aleister Black's doing something. I think Gargano's going against Adam Cole, baby. And um, I think they're going for the vacated title that uh, Champa really needed neck surgery for. Uh, the, the NXT TakeOver events are always good. You know, that's where you, you fell in love with, like, oh, my God, Samoa Joe's awesome, and Shinsuke Nakamura's awesome, and Bobby Roode's awesome. And then they come up to the main roster, and it's like, man, they were awesome. But I think everyone's awesome when you see them once every four months True. at, like, a main event. And then it's like you, they pump them out every week because they pretend like their roster is, isn't nearly as big as it is, and you get sick of seeing the same people over again. Then on saturday there's two events there's the g1 supercard i think that's what they call it the at madison square garden sold out no uh, ring of honor new japan show no that sounds that's good i yeah. think that's going to be the highlight i got a weekend to watch that as funny as that is i think that's going to be the highlight because i'm I, I love that right now i think i think a lot of people like to bag on the uh wwe and I haven't. I've almost been an apologist and a cheerleader, being like, oh, my God, WWE's been great since, like, two or three SummerSlams ago. I, I got into it again. I, I saw – we I watched um, the Demon Balor versus Seth Rollins, and I was like, oh, my God, this is flipping amazing. And I've been hooked, at, you know, back ever since. Like, I was a freaking kid again. But but lately it's been weird. And even this whole Wrestle, road to WrestleMania, I'm like, man, I got to the point where I'm just reading the highlights. I'm like, I just want to sit through these shows anymore. Um, but with that being said, I'm not, it doesn't mean I stopped watching wrestling because I'm literally just watched the whole entire, uh, uh, road, uh, what did they just have? The, uh, the G1 cup or, or whatever they call it for new Japan, where they literally had 35 competitors like bracketed in an event every night. Oh, yeah. So I watched every one of those. So I'm not bored of wrestling. I'm just bored of boring wrestling. Um, where was I going with all that? Oh, speaking of which, so right now between like the big things, I, I like to watch the Ring of Honor, the New Japan, and the WWE. Um, and New Japan's probably been the, the best show uh, lately, uh, probably since January. Uh, that's that. So I think that's going to be the best. And then WrestleMania, I mean, WrestleMania is WrestleMania. It's going to be a spectacle. It'll probably, yeah, it'll probably be amazing because it's, it's not going to be all fluff like, you know, they're, unfortunately they're way too long TV shows are. I mean, they want to fix Raw, make it two hours. SmackDown's pretty okay. I don't know. Make Ring of Honor TV's the best. It's yes. one hour, one and done. It's just like, boom. Yes. And the, I think it's even better that it's not live, and it's, you know, it's, it's recorded, and they can just take out all the bullshit and be like, hey, we're going to show you the best wrestling there is. True. Instead of giving the mic to four people that have no reason being on the mic and putz around for 25 minutes, and let's see what can happen. So I, I think New Japan Ring of Honor is going to be good. Um, WrestleMania is on Sunday. Oh, on Saturday, too, is, is the Hall of Fame, which I usually always watch live. But this year, I, I got to watch the New Japan Ring of Honor show that's on the same night. Um, right down the road, too, I think, from... Uh, I think they're doing it at the Barclays. So I think it's you could probably really spit on each other. <laughs> so... Um, you know, and there's they, the New Japan sold out in Madison Square Garden. That's pretty cool. It's, it's a big deal for a lot of the New Japan guys. Um, also, uh, watching the shows, uh, Liger, you know, he's retiring after this year. Um, he's never fought in Japan, and no one has. Um, the, there's two championships going up, the New Japan Championship and the uh, Ring of Honor Championship with Jay Lethal. Okada's uh, going after the New Japan Championship, and... Other than WWF, like, I don't think there's been a world championship match for professional wrestling since before Vince Sr. had it on lockdown. I mean, this could be the first time since 70-something. It's pretty much a historical moment, so it's, gonna, it's really going to be cool. And the New Japan guys, you know, they, for some reason, Madison Square Garden meant a lot to them, too. A lot of the, you know... Old time wrestlers, Madison Square Garden guys, went up and you know beat up on. I don't know. I'll cut that out. I don't know all the history, <laughs> but it means a lot to them because it's cool. So the Hall of Fame is what I think I was talking about. 
Yeah. I usually like to watch that. Who's going in it this year? Uh, beefcake. Beefcake, that's all that matters because at tinyurl.com slash TNB, which stands for the Nostalgia Brothers, TNB, eBay, um, this guy met the beefcake and got a bunch of sh stuff signed. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's up there if you want a Hall of Famer signature. If not, I mean, he's fine with that too because that means he gets to take them back home. So that's good. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't care about talking about the rest. I mean, this isn't a wrestling show. It just has to happens to be. This week is. Yeah, this yeah, week it is a wrestling week show. Is. I'm not really excited about the whole. I think DX is going in. Harlem Heat's going in. Oh, that's all. Oh well, yeah. Um, I don't care about all that as much. Tori Wilson's going in, which is pretty cool, I guess, when a when a lady from that era goes in. But the pro, you know, I almost feel bad because it's the whole women's revolution. And all her promos have been, like, um, showing her in bikinis and shit. I'm like, well, come on. No, well, that's the Attitude Era. That's what it was about. <laughs> it is, but, like, to glorify it. I mean, because then they show some clips of her wrestling, and it was pretty damn amazing. And they're like, wow. Well, I mean, obviously, her body was pretty damn amazing, too. So, I guess that's, that's to be right, wrestling. Um, I, I think the I think I mean, obviously WrestleMania is going to be good. If I was to put an order on things, for some reason, whenever there's a takeover, takeovers are really great, and it, it's also great because yeah, I don't watch NXT every week, so you know I, I watch these NXT guys once every four months. So I, I'm thinking my order of how much I love it is probably going to be the Ring of Honor New Japan show, um, followed by NXT, and then you know WrestleMania. They're all going to be great. They're probably all like. It's probably not A, B, and C. It's probably A-1, you know, A-2, A-3. But I actually think I'm least excited for WrestleMania. No, it's not an excitement thing. It's almost like you know what it's going to be. You know, it's WrestleMania. The ladies are headlining for the first time, which, whatever. I don't even love that match. It should have just been Charlotte and Ronda or... Becky's been shoehorned into this. She's so over. She's the man. But you know what? Everyone forgot she can't wrestle. She's going on her Twitter thing like, oh, I'm going to make Dusty proud because he said that I was going to be great someday. And like, it's, it's almost like in, she's saying Ronda was handpicked and stuff. Does she forget who was the first woman like drafted into the SmackDown roster? And the first, wasn't she the first champion? They just gave it to her then. And all of a sudden they're like, no, let's forget the past because... Now I have a stone cold attitude and I still can't wrestle. So it should have been Charlotte and Rhonda, but Becky's in there. Fucking because. That's the take of me, a guy that really just just a fan, you know. What's it? What do you think? Two, two. <laughs> what do you think, brother, about the upcoming WrestleMania stuff, brother? I don't, too much, I don't know too much about WWE now. I was more of an old school fan. Well, that's why we're, we're the Nostalgia Brothers. But it's WrestleMania, so you got to watch really the new watch stuff, it. too. I'll watch it. So, but with that being said, it is going to be fun to go back and, and once a month or so watching. Um, you know, it is going to be fun going back through, hitting the big screen, having events, watching a bunch of the old stuff. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. I'd like to start at the first one and go from there. So Me too. That's good. I wonder what else I had. I went on a wrestling rant, which wasn't completely necessary. Well, I'm ready for this weekend. I'm ready for WrestleMania. You know how I've been getting ready. I did a push-up. I did a sit-up. I drank my beers and, and smoked my cigars just like the great dick buyer from the 70s. And you know what? I am feeling great. I am going to climb into that ring and I... No, wrong. I am going to sit in that chair and I am going to watch three days, three days, three days of wrestling, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to end it. I don't know if I like that one. I almost want to do another one, but I don't know if my voice can handle it. We're going to WrestleMania!
We did DDP yoga the other day. We were going to do it tonight, but I'm feeling a little sore. You can do it if you want. I don't want to do it. I do, but I don't. All right. So we're going to do it once a week. We'll probably get buff that way. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do the, the down dogs and the up cats and, you know. We're gonna we're gonna do the diamond cut and we're gonna hook it up. And we're gonna get buff. You can support us by going to our links. I'll move it later. Uh, tinyurl.com. Uh, get some fun stuff at TMB, which stands for the Nostalgia Brothers. TMB eBay. Um, we're on TMB Facebook, and you're watching us, watching us right now on TNB YouTube. That's tinyurl.com slash before all that stuff. Uh, we had a, uh, a Facebook fan fun. I, I don't think we've posted as much this week, but WrestleMania coming up. We uh, posted a, a thing. Hey, what was your favorite WrestleMania moment? Was it Dylan? Dylan. Dylan. Writes back, uh, I think I just, whatever first picture I found, which, which was cool, was a, was a Shawn Michaels, right? And he was Shawn going like Michael. this, to the Undertaker. I was like, that was cool. But and Dylan brings up the, um, the Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair. I think that was the, retirement the Ric match. Flair's retirement match. And the only thing I really remember out of that is, you know, the, I, th I think Rick might have kicked out of a Sweet Chin music at one point. But he was loading it up, and he's about to give it to him. And Rick's like, yeah, I'm about to be dead because I'm an old man, and i got to retire. And, and Shawn Michaels just looks at him, and he almost he starts crying, I think. This is how my memory works, so it's probably not true at all. But I might have dreamed this. So Shawn Michaels looks at him, he's like, I'm sorry. And boom! Kicks him in the face, and he pins him. And Shawn Michaels is upset because he just kicked the head off his hero, and... Ric Flair would be upset if he was conscious, and it was one, two, three, and I, I think there was probably hugs and tears, and it was a great WrestleMania moment. Thanks for bringing that up, Dylan. I should probably rewatch that. That was Facebook fan fun. Yeah. Good times. Any last words? Peace. Peace. <laughs> and our links. Click on one of them. You can't because I don't know how to make it so they're clickable. So, like, go down and then click on it down there. And then the, that's our links and, and that's our Mario's. And uh, that's a bunch of other things. And that's our Care Bears. Do the thing on the links, but now I got the fucking whole setup. I can't move it as easy. Oh, I don't trust touching any of that. <laughs> At least it's light. Yeah. You can do like a selfie thing with this shit too. I probably put it on backwards. Because this thing moves. Selfie stick. I don't want to fuck with that. What the fuck was that? Something, something just beep. You gotta say, I'm, I'm so scared. But I am, I don't wanna say it. So we just have to adjust this once. Hopefully. Does that look silly? No. What the fuck's hanging in the background? We can take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
and put something different in the things every time, but it is fun to have a Game Boy. It is fun to have a Game Boy. Stone Cold. It's not beer. I don't know what it's going to do with the door shut, but you can hear the system through the whole, uh, the sound definitely carries. Does it? No, remember when I said, can we, is it alright if we're loud? And he just looked at me like I was an asshole and be like, who said you couldn't make noise? <laughs> I know. So fuck it. Make some, make some noise. Welcome to WrestleMania weekend at the wow. Nostalgia Brothers. We're gonna do this whole thing as 80s wrestlers. I'm Mark. 